All right, so in this video, I want to show you how we can find our data using a column header. So the idea is going to be is that no matter where our data set is, so let's say you delete more columns here, or maybe you just delete more rows or whatever, we still want to be able to figure out that this is where our data set is. And we're going to do that by using a unique column header. So in this case, I'm going to use this column header region, for example. So the ID is going to be, so it's not going to matter like which column header I'm going to choose because the way I'm going to find this data set, I will just think about it like this. I will just search the spreadsheet for that column header. So region, and then we'll click on that header. And then if we do control A or command A, we will be able to grab the whole data set. So let's do this with a script. So I'm going to go to my script editor. And first, let's get a reference to our spreadsheet. So get active spreadsheet to get to our active spreadsheet. And then we'll do the worksheet to get to our worksheet. And in this case, I'll just do get sheet by name to get a reference to that particular worksheet. And the worksheet is called, in this case, sheet one. So I'll just copy that name and use it over here. That's good enough. So now inside of this worksheet, we need to do this. We need to search for region like this and find that header. So to do that, we're going to take that worksheet and in this, we're going to create text finder. And that's going to be a text finder object. And as you can see, it says find string. So the string we're going to find is that header region, just like that. And we'll store this in a variable again. So let's try to see what we have inside of this text finder object. So see, we have find all, find next, find previous, and then the match case, match entire cell. We have all these different things inside of this. I'm going to start by, first of all, uh, making sure that we basically match the entire cell content. And for that, we're going to just pass true in here. Now, what this means is that basically, if we right now search for REG, that will match that region too, right? But I don't want it to match. So basically, I want to make sure that the entire cell should just say the word region, not just contain the word to be able to find it. And that's what I'm doing here by setting that to true. And there is also like, if we want this to be case sensitive or not, I think by default it's false, but I'm going to do false anyways. You can make it case sensitive by setting this to true. So once we set all the options, then we can search. So there are a couple of ways we can do this. We can either do find all and do find next. So find all means you basically uh, search for all the possible matches. So if you had like region in many different places in this worksheet, you might want to find all of those cells. In this case, we're going with this assumption that we're going to have just one unique column name that we can trust that it's not going to repeat across the worksheet anywhere else. So for that reason, I'm just going to do find next to find that match. So I'm going to go ahead here and do find next. And see, it says it's going to return spreadsheet range. So let's just save this in a variable again. So once we find that cell, then from that cell, we should be able to do get uh, what I think is current region, but let's see. Maybe not. Let's just take a look here. Data region. There it is. Get data region. Just 
just like that. And let's just save this in a variable. So at this point, this data range should refer to our range of data. So to verify that, let's just do console log and take that data range and do get, I hate this thing that shows up like this, but get a bond notation. So I'm going to save this and run this function, my function. And if you look here, it says C4 through I17. So if we go back to our data, see C4 through I17, just like that. Now, if I go in here and add a couple of columns and add more rows, and we go back and rerun our script, See, it's E7, K20. So E7, K20. So we're able to find our data set no matter where this is in our spreadsheet. So at this point, if you wanted to get all of these two in an array, you could just do data range dot get values like you would do with any other range. And this would be that data. And if we console log that data, that would be that array with our data. Just like that. See, it returns this data set. The first row being our headers, because that also includes this region. So if you didn't want that, you could drop that from this. You could do something like data dot shift and see it says removes the first element from an array. So that means right here at this point, if I rerun this, if I go back, this will be my data without headers. So we'll be able to find our data using this region header and then we'll drop the headers and work with the data. If you wanted to keep the headers for your reference, you can just store this in a variable. When you do the shift, and that means now you can access your headers from your data in here and your data in here in these variables. So if I run this, you'll see this first one will console log the headers and this will be the data below our headers. See, there it is. And this is the rest of our data row by row. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.